outcast, misfit, geek and freak. All the words you could use to insult weird Yal Al Yankovic are also the reason he's so loved. Another one rides the bus, and another comes on, and another comes on, another one rides the bus. Hey, he's gonna sit by you, another one rides the bus. Weird Al shot to fame in 1980, performing his unique version of a Queen song. He quickly became the king of parody music. In the hands of Weird Al, Michael Jackson's iconic song Beat It became Eat It, a song that won him his first Grammy. Coolio's hit rap song Gangster's Paradise became Amish Paradise. Forget, smells like Nirvana. <laughs> and he's bringing these, all these hits and more down under when he tours Australia in March. David is so excited about this. <laughs> My, I'm dying. I don't look it. Are you okay? We I'm can just feel, dying. We the, can feel your energy. The one and only Weird Al joins us now from Los Angeles. Give it up, everybody, Woo! for the legend himself, Weird Al. How are you doing? Hey, well, I just This is like a dream come true for me. You've been doing <laughs> for this. For me, too. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I, we've, I've loved you since Eat It, and I've, had, I've listened to all of your albums. Uh, do you, I've always wanted to know, do you ever get stuck on a parody idea and it just doesn't work? Um, you know, I, uh, there, there are a lot of songs that I, I'd like to make a parody of, and I can't think of a good enough idea. I can think of a hundred bad ideas, <laughs> but uh, sometimes that one good idea is sort of elusive. So, we were wondering, I was hoping you were going to bring in an accordion today. Yes, I wanted, I, saying... to, I wanted to see your instrument, because I know you've been playing it since you were a little <laughs> oh, kid. <laughs> <laughs> the, accordion, the accordion, the oh, accordion I'm talking oh, oh, about. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Keep it clean this morning. Um, so <laughs> uh, the accordion and everything, is it all coming out for the tour, Al? Yeah. It, it, it is. I, I want to uh, make sure that people are aware. You, you said that I was going to be playing all these songs and more. Uh, this this tour is not about playing the, the hits, so I don't want people to come and be disappointed. It's, it's, it's the unfortunate return of the ridiculously self-indulgent, ill-advised vanity tour. <laughs> and the reason it's called that is because we're playing uh, the deep cuts. It's, it's meant to showcase the songs that we don't normally get to play uh, in, a, in a live concert setting because normally we, we want to uh, please the crowd and play all the hits. And this is uh, these are the, the, the songs that uh, are not necessarily uh, you know, big fan favorites. All the, the, the hardcore fans love them, but they're not, they're not the ones that are, are the, the big music videos and the big hit songs. Uh, it's still a fun comedy show, a high energy show, uh, but don't go expecting to hear Eat It and Like a Surgeon. <laughs> That's, I mean, you know, but if we chant it loud enough and long enough, do you drop I'll them? chant with you. <laughs> <laughs> chant back at me. Uh, for the people at home yeah. that don't understand where you came from, uh, where did the, the, the Nerm and the moniker Weird Al come from? Well, the Al is short for Alfred, uh, <laughs> and the, uh, the weird part, the, the weird part, I, I, I got that in college. I, uh, I, I think they were calling me Weird Al in the dorms uh, just because I probably was acting weird. And I took it on uh, in, in college uh, radio. I, that was my, my nickname, uh, the Weird Al Show every Saturday night. And it just kind of stuck. Love it. We have to talk about Weird, the Al Yankovic story. It's not available in Australia yet, but let's take a quick look first. Name me one creative genius that doesn't have a checkered past involving alcohol. That's the medicine. And drugs. I think Madonna's a bad influence on you. What? No offense. <laughs> Al, from what I hear, it's not historically accurate? Not entirely accurate. I think only about 90% is made up. <laughs> oh. Like most things in you Hollywood. Know, yeah. Yeah, because I, cause I, I saw uh, biopics like uh, uh, Rocket Man and Bohemian Rhapsody, and I realized they didn't really care about the facts that much. They just made stuff up or changed the chronology. So I thought, <laughs> if I do my own biopic, I'm just going to make everything up. <laughs> but how great is it to have Daniel Radcliffe That's playing right. you? He looks amazing in this. <laughs> how did you discover that he should be you? 
You know, um, I, I, I've always loved Daniel Radcliffe's acting. He does a comedy really, really well. He does intensely serious drama really well. And I think the thing that really kind of uh, uh, brought him to mind was I, I saw him 12 years ago on, on, a, on a British chat show called Graham Norton, where he performed the Elements song by Tom Lehrer, which was all the uh, elements on the periodic table sure. set, to a, uh, set to an old Gilbert and Sullivan song. And I thought, that is a really super nerdy thing to do. So I, I bet we'd really get along. <laughs> so did you get along with him? What was he like working with him? Yeah. He was the best. He was the absolute best. I mean, uh, he uh, he kind of set the tone. Like he was super nice and super professional every day on the set, and that rubs off. I mean, it was a very pleasant. Set. It was a very quick sh uh, shoot. It was 18 days to shoot the whole wow. movie, uh, and we couldn't have done it if Daniel wasn't, you know, an incredibly uh, great and and generous actor and and our crew and everybody else involved in the movie uh, we really pulled together nobody got covid thankfully <laughs> and uh, and we came out with something that they were all very proud of so, i think there'd be so many laughs on that set that'd be so i don't know I, i'm surprised you were able to do it in 18 days Al, before we you too. before you go <laughs> is there a song that you're most proud of or that people associate most with you Oh gosh, it's hard to say. I, uh, my my biggest hit uh, is "White and Nerdy," and that's also sort of the story of my life. So I'll go with that one. White and Nerdy is iconic, and everyone's always agreed that they want to be parodied by you. Am I right? Is that true, or has anyone ever <laughs> refused? Let, let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue that Wait myth and going. See. Let's yes. see what else um, you're going to come up with. We well. cannot <laughs> have you here in Australia. My kids are now into you. Uh, 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 it's so you just uh, you just defy all generations. We can't wait to have you here, Al. Well, that, that's excellent parenting. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Weird Al uh, is going to be Thank on you. tour in Australia next March. Visit tegdainty.com for tickets and details. They are selling so fast. So sign up to be on the wait list to know about the extra shows that are coming up. I mean, he's an icon. That's folks. made your year. I don't, I, I don't know what you else know, to say. Weird Al, you have no idea how excited David has like, been. Ever since Eda came out when morning, I was in yeah. primary school, it's like, <laughs> this is my guy. Christmas has come early oh. for him, so thank you. Stuck in the closet <laughs> with Vanna White. All the deep cuts, man. I'm coming oh. for them. <laughs> the deep cuts, yes. Al thinks I'm a stalker now. I know you <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>